It's in Deuteronomy chapter 32, verses 17. They sacrificed the false gods, which are not God. Remember what it said, which are not God. I don't know what witches and warlocks need to hear this. The guys they had not known, guys that recently appeared, guys your ancestors did not fear. Guys that recently appeared. It says in latter times, many will depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and things taught by demons. These are the guys that have appeared. The guys that y'all are worshiping, these demonic pharaohs. Baal. Molech, Ishtar, Aphrodite, whatever her name is, the ancient goddess. These are all the guys that you guys are serving. You guys are serving ancient Babylon, right? The music industry, Hollywood. It's like modern day Babylon in Egypt. When did this happen? When did we turn our backs on our God? When did we start serving the devil? The same devil that wants to tear you down, that wants to destroy you, that wants to take you to hell. He wants to take you down right with him. And he's doing that. And we allowing him to. Amen. When did we turn our backs? This is the reason why our children are suffering. Because parents who fail to pray. We, do, we no longer have households and school systems that follow the ways and the laws of God. So we have allowed the enemy into our lives. And we have allowed the enemy to take control of our people, our generation, our children, our government, our society. Look at this de demonic system that we're living in and everybody is trapped in chains and we've all just sat back and submitted to it like it's just a game or something. It's time for you to turn back to Jesus Christ. It's time for somebody to rise up. It's time for somebody to stand up and take back what rightfully belongs to God. And really this earth, what rightfully belongs to us. God gave us dominion over the earth. This earth is ours and we've handed it over to the devil. We've handed our power, our authority, our dominion over to the devil why ah you can't even begin to answer that question listen jesus christ is king he's calling on his anointed people we're going through a harder spiritual warfare than we ever have which means we got to fight and press in that much harder amen come on let's get it